Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Thursday, December 14th, 2023. Let's take a look at the charts. Um, we will start with the big picture, work our way into the day itself. Uh, and this uh, illustrates a few things. Number one, uh, long term, we had a buy signal in May when we settled above the mid 160s. Uh, long term support now was resistance, 164.56 to 165.98. We fell off that July high, retested this formation, and resumed. Overall, still anticipating 233.07 as a longer-term target that I think is in reach by the middle of 24 or sooner. Uh, on the way up, we also closed above this descending channel top. That represents solid pullback support uh, through January, through Q1, and from here we can continue higher. So everything points upward, and in fact, on um, I don't know if this is an updated chart, it actually is. On uh, Wednesday, we came very close to retesting that 198.23 July 23 all-time high. So 198 even was the high. We backed off very slightly into the closing bell, and here we are. 198.23. So you see 202.24. I might as well talk about that right now. That is a trend line off these highs that if we push through not only 198.23, but 199.38. What is 199.38? It is a one and a half, two week, uh, one and a half week channel top uh, that I call kind of the um, slippage containment factor. We can push through 198.23, tag 199.38, then back away for the rest of the day and perhaps back below 198.23 to close below it. But if we do close above 199.38, I think that is the pull away factor through next week. This 206.57 formation then in reach, possibly within three to five days where we can place a weekly high. But on an intraday basis, I'll go back to this chart and just mention that if we push through 199.38, that uh, two week channel top I just showed, 202.24 in reach today. And if we close above 199.38, once again, this formation, I see, uh, you know, meaningful bullish continuation into next week. Uh, by the end of next week or sooner, this steeply rising 206.57 formation in reach where a weekly high can be placed. But overall, I'll point back to this chart. If we close the week above 198.23, that is tomorrow, then I see uh, this 218.98 formation within two to three months or less. And then we're also back to anticipating 233.07 in the months ahead. So that is really the big picture to the upside. I don't know if we'll close above 199.38 today, but once again, if we do, no good reason to be short Apple as we move into next week. No good reason to be short Apple under really any time horizon until we then, well, I've already covered it, until we test 206.57, talking to you three to five day swing traders, uh, until we test um, 218.98. I'm talking to you kind of one to two month swing traders. And uh, three to five months out, following a settlement above 198.23, I do think this long awaited 233.07 would be in reach where we could top out perhaps through all of next year. And let's take a look at the downside today. Um, we've got 194.71. You've got the Tuesday high, Wednesday low combination is right in there. That's also a 50% downside retracement over the last few days. If we ease back this today uh, on Wednesday, uh, this just might contain selling pressures for the day itself. We do have carefully chosen minor points on the way down. 97.10, 96.45, 95.71. All of these you're probably familiar with, but it is 194.71 that just might exhaust selling pressures for the day. And if we break 194.71, 192.92 in reach, where we can place a daily low, quite possibly through the rest of the week and from here, rally back to the 198.23, July 23 high within several days, three to five days of doing so. So three to five day swing traders may have a go at 192.92. Um, but, you know, the way I would present this now is 198.23 is your three to five day swing trade sell level. We can top out, double top here through next week, perhaps. And from here, fall back to the 190.35 channel bottom. So it really is selling 198.23 carefully and then buying back at 190.35 by the end of next week. I could see trading inside of that area all the way through next week if we were over the next week or so to close below 190.35, then we continue south into the lower 180s, 182.11 to 183, 
18304 is once again this channel top on the weekly chart, well suited to absorb selling pressures not only through January but even through all of Q1. Uh, back to, I suppose, this chart here. Here's your 196.45. Just a minor point now. Um, you know, 194.71 is the level that we mentioned as an intraday support level right here. And if we break it, 192.92 is likely where a daily low can be placed. I think 192.92 is a good, solid day trade level, as is, of course, 198.23. If we close below 192.92, expect a test tomorrow of 190.35, where we could bottom out through next week and from here rally back to 198.23 within a full week of trade. So once again, this is your one one week time frame. Uh, now for the upside, once again, we do have 198.23, the July 23 all time high, and we also have 199.38. So we can push through 98.23, test 99.38, as I say, and back off to close below 98.23. And if we do, once again, close below 98.23, you should allow 190.35 by the end of next week. That remains kind of the one-week swing trade, the three- to five-day swing trade. But if we close above 199.38, no good reason to be short. In fact, I'm talking to three- to five-day swing traders now. You go along with a settlement above 199.38, anticipate the 206.57 channel top within three to five days, rising at a very good pace. It will be in the low 210s before we know it where it, we can top out on a weekly basis. And that is the three to five day swing trade upside. Three to five day swing trade uh, downside is sellable where we are now, 198.23, allowing 190.35. But, you know, we have buy signals all over the place as has played out now since May. And so I'm, you know, I'm resistant to encourage you to sell 198.23 aggressively. But, you know, if you're an experienced trader, and uh, you trade both sides of the market comfortably, this is the area, 198.23 up to 199.38 to sell, anticipating the possibility of bearish rotation back to 190.35 by the end of next week. Um, and I think I've pretty much said it all. I don't think there's anything else to say. Please click like, share, subscribe. Check out wickedstocks.com. Take advantage of that five-day free trial. We've had four stock picks in the last 10 days, all of which are highly relevant right now. And you get it all for free with the five-day free trial. That's all I've got for Thursday's Apple Report. I'll be back tomorrow with Fridays. And you have a great day.